Hello everyone, my name is Kid Lee, and it is time to take a look at Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now before this game came out, I made a couple of rather bold predictions. The first being that this is, was going to be the most Bioware-like Assassin's Creed game that's ever been released. And the second being that this was going to be something that was very, very different. So here in this video, we will see if my predictions were correct. But yes, welcome to the the Spartan world of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm hanging out here with my bird. It's dancing and doing stuff. I don't know what's going on. But here in this video, we're going to take a look at the game world, the mechanics, the gameplay, the combat system for both on ground and the ship combat. And see if this uh, if this game holds up. So I'll tell you, at this point, I've put about 15 hours into it just to get a, a feel for what's going on. And I've really been enjoying myself so far. But as we've been kind of spinning the camera around here, you'll notice this game looks absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't say it's the best looking game that I've ever seen, but it's definitely pretty impressive. The lighting and, uh, and light rays in particular are really good. The environments I've really enjoyed. Just a lot of the little detail that they've that they've put into the game is, has been really, really nice. I really like the theme of this one. You know, being a Spartan and, and doing all the Spartan things. And this is the first Assassin's Creed that you can actually choose between a male and a female. Now, they did have a previous one. I believe it was Syndicate where you played as a brother and a sister. But this is just straight up the first one where you, you pick your main character and you're, you're with them uh, throughout the game. So I am playing as Cassandra. Wanted to do uh, something a little bit different. Been playing, you know, a male assassin for I don't know how many games now. Here comes the, the eagle again. Or hawk, I guess it is. Whatever it is. But I think the first thing we'll do is we're actually going to come in here. We're going to take a look at the map just so you can get an idea of how big the game is. Like I said, I've put about 15 hours into the game. Those first 15 hours were over on this island over here and then sort of this green area right in here. But if we take a look at the rest of the map, you can see just how big it really is. At a bare minimum, it's about a 50-60 hour game. But if you want to take the time and really explore and do all the side stuff, you could easily spend well over 100 hours in this game, which is, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, the map is just massive. There's a full questing system in the game, full leveling system, full inventory as well. Again, this is an open-world RPG, so you expect those kind of things. All of the items have stats. What's really cool is if you find items that you like, even early on the, in the game, you don't have to give them up, and you can actually just go to a blacksmith and upgrade those items for the whole rest of the game. Or, of course, there's plenty of loot and quest items and all that fun stuff, so you never know what you're going to find. There's a, a wide variety of weapons as well. So here in this video, I'm going to try and show you combat for a couple different weapon styles, just so you can kind of get an idea of the look and feel for different weapons. Of course, the full ability system as well. And like I've said in other games that I've covered, whenever you have an ability system or a tree system, and you hover over it and it shows you that little video and gives you a really good description of exactly what the ability is. I love it when games do that. Now there's a lot of people out there who say that Black Flag is the best Assassin's Creed out there. And there's two main reasons for that. One, because it was very different. And two, because of the ship combat. Well, ship combat is back in this one and it is better than ever. So I'll be showing you some ship combat too. The game also has a mercenary system, so if you've played anything like the Middle-Earth, uh, Shadow of Mordor, and you're familiar with the Nemesis system, it's kind of like that. So you'll, you constantly have these mercenaries that are coming after you, and you have to sort of discover them and figure out who they are and, and that sort of thing. So you can see that there's a, here's a Tier 7, here's a Tier 6, here's a T5. I know who that level 30 is. I'm not level 30, so he would destroy me. There's a 38. But you kind of get the idea, right? There's a 47. I've killed a couple of them already. And I know there's one in the area where I'm filming this video. So if we, if we come across him, we might try and fight him. 
But I think the first thing I want to do is show you guys the actual combat in the game. And we'll do a little bit of exploring as well. So right now I'm using a spear. And so here are some of the basic uh, movements or abilities for the game. So right here, this is just sort of your basic attack, as you can see right there. You also have what I would call power strike. So it's basically a tap versus a hold. You also have a wind up you can do, so I can hold it like this, charge it up, I can wind it. And then you also have more of a quick strike from that sort of slot as well. Now, based on the abilities that I have chosen, here are the abilities that I have. I've got a bull rush, a Spartan kick, a D shield, and a little bit of a heal. So I actually marked a, a mercenary camp over here, so let's go check that out. The game has a full stealth system as well, so just like that, I've entered into stealth. If you want to get a, a layout of the area, you can actually summon that bird that I had earlier, and you can fly above, and you can stop them and mark targets. I've actually got all these targets marked already, which is pretty cool. So we know that there are uh, basically four little ones and then some sort of a, a captain or elite or something. So we'll see how this works. For the combat... Actually, here's some resources. Gotta love open world games, right? For the combat itself... Yeah, I wasn't exactly in... Yeah, all right, come on. Let's, let's do this. She's going to pull her bow on me. I can do that. So there's a full dodge system with the combat as well. We're going to come in here and just start melee striking her. She actually dodged back. Right, we're going to dodge this person. So right now, I am in sort of the, uh, the free roam combat system is what I would call it. Then there's also a lock-on combat system. So the lock-on looks like this. Where you're actually just locking on to somebody, then you can get in their face and they just set me on fire. Let's dodge that dude. Man, I'm gonna die quick. Uh, I'm gonna heal now, thanks. Where'd you go? Let's get over here and kill their little dog. It's a wolf. At any time I can pull out my bolt and I can I can shoot stuff too, so that's that's always an option. So, I, okay, boom. So, I am in stealth mode right now. You can see at the uh, the lower center, there's a little crossed eye. That's whether or not they can see me. I'm going to pop this dog here. I should mention that I am using a controller on the PC. About half the people I know have been using a controller, and the other half have been using mouse and keyboard, and... It seems to be okay either way, but the game itself has been designed around a a controller, so I decided to stick with it. So now we're gonna fight the little uh, little boss here. Right now she's trying to hit me with a flame arrow. There's also a parry system. If we can get her to fight me here, I'll show you the parry system. Come on, stop shooting me with that bow and let's do this. But you can you can definitely see that the um No, this this person just really likes to use that bow. Well, we're going to kill you for doing it. And you're dead. Oh, oh, she actually had a, a scythe? I don't know if, I, if I've ever actually used a scythe before. How about we check that out real quick? We're doing it live, guys. Uh, this. And what's really cool is all the weapons really handle differently. So you can definitely find something that meets your playstyle. So you'll see this is a much more of a, a very heavy two-handed weapon. You can see that immediately all of the uh, combat has changed. Even the animations are different for every single weapon. So here I'm just doing quick strikes and power attacks. So let's just try the charge up here. Double swing. But you, can, you can see the characters acting like there's a real weight to the weapon and that's really cool. So here I'll, I'll just briefly, I'll show you something a little bit quicker. So I'll do a, I'll do a dagger set here. So compare that to this. Very quick. 
So, like I was saying earlier, it really comes down to how you want to try and play. Do you want to play with a slower, heavier weapon? Do you want to play with a lighter attack? And it's funny enough, some of the fights in this game, I've seen people refer to them as Dark Souls-like fights. Which is, which is really, really cool. I actually got a level 10 uh, Traveler's Belt. And we got some money. So that was actually a location complete. So here real quick, I'll switch weapons again just so you can see something a little different. So here's actually a, a sword. Now this is going to be very similar to the daggers. Maybe just a little bit slower. But still really quick. As you can see right there. Big charge of attack right there. Now again, I'll, let's just switch another weapon. Because I'm just trying to show you guys a bunch of different stuff. Here's an axe. I've actually been using this axe quite a bit. I've, I've, I've leveled up this axe from, I think, level 2. I'm trying to get into an area where you can see the, the combat animations just a little bit better. So again, this is going to be a bigger, bulkier, slower weapon. But I've been, I've been really, really enjoying this axe. It's really neat. So, we'll stay with this axe for the time being. And we'll see what other trouble we can get into. Let's go back to the map here real quick. Let's see, is there anything else? Actually, there's a couple of quests. I want to show you guys the dialogue system and, and how that works. So, let's head back into town and, and check that out. Let's actually go ahead and summon my horse. Hey, horse, what's up? <laughs> So for the horse, you can actually fully automate the horse if you want to. It's like, horse, uh, just follow the road or whatever and... Whoop. Got hung up on a little thing right there. So that now that we're on this road, I can just say automate. So now it's just going to automate. Whoa, it's like having... Now it's like, go to the map marker. Boom, go. And it's just automating. Or at any time you can retake control, which is pretty cool. Actually, there's some trouble happening over here. Let me uh, get off and, and help these guys here. You stupid wolves. Leave my people alone. Yeah. I will take your pelts. Are you people okay now? You cool? I can just straight up assassinate that guy if I wanted to. Like some people probably died there. Yeah. Just a random wolf attack on the road. Never know what's going to happen. We did good here today. Let's continue on. But again, just check out these environments. The environments are fantastic. Now, out of the way. This area will be well defended. Yeah, this is actually... Um, Another area that I can just attack dudes if I want to. These guys are all level 10. They're a little, they're about one level higher than me, and that does make it difficult. So I'm actually going to get out of here and head towards that quest marker. Yeah, if you want a challenge in this game, do stuff above your level. You'll have a good old time. We'll see what's happening over here real quick. Beautiful ocean. Fuck them. Fuck. Dang, the language. What's your problem? What don't I have fucking problems with? The Oracle for one, C for another. Don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the Oracle. You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. So, dialogue options, as I mentioned. I am a god. You need a god. I'm the next best thing. <laughs> You're a live one. That's a good pitch. I'll give you that. So who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. Watch your tongue, lady. Malaka. I came to see if you needed help. Fuck you. No one asked you to. You know what? 
Fuck you. Dang, that escalated quickly. Okay, sorry. Been a bad day. I finished my business with the Oracle and was meant to meet my ship here. They're nowhere to be fucking found, and I've been here since last night. So where is the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um, I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and, uh, we sort of help out. Oh, your girl? Yeah, best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. Sure. I'll find out what happened, and bring them back. Do you know where they could have gone? The southeastern shore is pretty rich pickings. Nice cove there to trap lost, wealthy pilgrims. You're a pirate. What if I fucking am? I'm the pirate that's paying you. Anyway, I'm not a pirate all the time. It's more of a hobby. A hobby? You sure the crew didn't mutiny and run off on you? Not with my yiki at the helm. Plus, they never got the cut from our last trip. They wouldn't leave without getting paid. Describe Yiki. She's beautiful, she is. Kisses like summer. From the first time I saw her, I wanted to eat her all up. Not helpful. Okay, okay. She's raven-haired, and has a precious band on her arm that I gave her. Always wears it. I'll find them and return as soon as I can. So, I'll be completely honest with you guys. That right there is one of the small issues that I have with this game. I'm no historian, but I'm pretty sure they didn't use the F word back in Ancient Greece. And this game uses it way too much. That was that back there was pure luck. That just happened to be the the conversation in this game that had the most F words I've ever seen in it. So I wish I would have picked a, a better conversation, but yeah, that's just unfortunate. So, I mean, the the overall dialogue and everything in this game has been pretty great. What does this person want? Need something, stranger? You, you sail up both the Adrestia with Fagnavas. How do you know this, stranger? I once stood alongside him until a filthy pirate ran his blade through my back. Now I can barely stand straight. I was replaced by you. I'm sorry to hear of your injury. I had no idea I was taking anyone's place. The worst part is, I always dreamt of sailing with myself. Ah, but with my back, I can't even collect enough wood to build a feluca for him. So you want me to give you some drachmi? Yes, any drachmi you can give helps. Yeah, sure. Take this. New engraving unlocked, plus one to crit, nice. Part of the crafting system. Hey, we actually just hit level 10. Oh, nice. Even more ungraving unlocked. So, before we go out onto the ship combat and I show you that part of the game, where is the closest blacksmith? Uh, let's see. Oh, there's one right there. So the blacksmith is where all the crafting and upgrading and all that fun stuff is done. We'll go check that out here real quick. But no, just the, the excessive use of the F word it just seems like it's completely out of place. taste so pretty standard uh rpg stuff here you know you've got resources you can buy and sell this is what i was talking about on how you can just literally upgrade any weapon so it's like this axe i really like this axe it's too bad that it's not like a, a legendary or, or a rare or something like that but i can just keep upgrading that axe 
So the other thing you can do is the engraving system, and the engraving system allows you to add additional stats to any item. So again, we can go to this axe, and there's different slots. So right now I've got a plus four fire damage, but I could do, you know, any of these, and it only costs me gold. And actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a, a plus two percent of warrior damage instead of fire damage. So we'll engrave that. Boom, there we go. So there's the new axe. It's a 92. But if we go up to, like, let's say this legendary item, you can see this actually has an, an open slot. And you can see what it's going to cost to actually um, apply this engraving. Let's do... Hmm, what should we... 1% to all damage, maybe? It's already got a... Um, Seven to warrior, and then twenty with the Spartan kick. Uh, yeah, let's do one to all damage. So there we go, one thirty-five. So, and again, let me actually go to the buy here real quick because there might be some period or some people who are curious about weapons. And again, this is not every weapon in the game, but it's got a great variety. So you you could be a person who are like. I want to use a sludge hammer, or a mace, or a scythe, a war scythes, different kinds of axes. Here's a staff. Actually, the staves are pretty cool, or staves, however you call it. Here's different helmets and chest pieces, and uh, I can get this this unicorn. I mean, why not, right? But I've seen uh, here's different different kinds of swords. So pretty good variety here. Thanks for looking. All right, let's go. Let's go to our boat, so I can show you how the how the boat stuff works. Now, there's actually one system in here that they stole from Metal Gear Solid Five, and it's actually under your ship upgrade system where you can get lieutenants and you can recruit people for your boat. So almost anybody in the game, you can just knock them out and have them join your crew. And there's like different stats on people. Like I don't know if I can. Uh, let me see if I can find somebody here real quick that I can. I can actually show you how this works. There might not be anybody. In the, actually, there's somebody way over. There. Okay, so you see on that dude, you see that he's an archer and he's a level two archer. So if I were to recruit him, that is what I'm getting for my boat. I'm getting a level two archer for my boat. So, oh, sorry. Pardon me. So here's my boat. Again, you can fully customize it. All right, we're going to undock it here. Uh, thank you. Oh, that's right. I got, like, fire arrows now. And at any point, I can stop the boat, I can go into the ocean, I can explore down below. There's all kinds of shipwrecks and stuff to explore. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that loot. Well, I'll, I'm gonna see if I can find a boat that I can, uh, that I can mess with here. Gotta be an enemy boat out here somewhere. We're gonna go ahead and increase our speed here. Alright, we're gonna go to traveling speed here. Alright, we'll zoom out here. Hey, look at the guys, there's dolphins! There's dolphins and sharks and whales and all kinds of crazy stuff. That's not an enemy right there, is it? I think that's an enemy. We'll head for him here. Dolphins, help me out here. But the sea looks fantastic. Looks like there's a fight maybe happening over there. So I'll increase our speed here. Yeah, this one with the black sails, I think that's a bad guy. We'll find out here in a second. Don't worry, we'll help you out. All right, here we go. Let's, let's do this. 
See, it's it's like be be careful with the friendly fire. I think that's what it was saying. There we go. Keep firing. Keep firing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Brace for impact. Brace. All right, let's ram him. Let's turn around. Let's ram him. What are you doing, Red Boat? Ow! Son of a gun. Brace for impact. Boom! Got him. He went down way easy. A lot of times you can just weaken them. Is this is this guy fire trying to fight me? What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? All right, you're cruising for a bruise, and all right, kill them, kill them. Fire javelins. It's their fall. All right, initiate boarding. Side by side here. Hua. I will deal with this scum myself. Whoops, wrong button. My apologies. The power of the two. Oh, you're gonna Spartan kick me? No, you're not, sir. Listen here. Boom. Get off my boat. This guy's like the captain or whatever. Let's bull rush him. We got him. Let's loot their treasures, take their ship, and get out of here. Is this all they had? Was just this one thing here? All right, let's go. Good job, guys. Some wood, some money. You guys want to go ahead and sink the rest of it? All right, cool. It'll it'll go down. All right, let's get out of here. Let's move. Might be some salvage up here as well. So, what I would like to find is a little island that I have not explored yet. We'll go explore it. What do we have here? Oh. You can actually see um, screenshots from your friends and other players, and that's what these are. So, the game has like a, a photo mode and all that fun stuff. Actually, that island isn't bad, but we're gonna we're gonna head this way and see what I can. There's a shark. Yep, I got it. All right, let's engage speed here. I'm actually going to turn a different direction here. This is back. There's something floating there. We can retrieve it. We can retrieve it. Actually, there's something coming up here that I don't know what it is. I can see it on the mini map. It might be over there. I'm not sure. Actually, it might be that peak up there. Not unless there's a shipwreck here. Get the oars ready. Yeah, get the oars ready, you nerds. Yeah, 200 meters that way, there's something. Um, actually, you know what? Bring us to a full stop. Full stop. All right. Slow down. Commander leading the helm. All right, we're going to go check things out over here. 
So like I said, at any time you can just go underwater. Find stuff. Actually, there is kind of a shipwreck here. Doing a scan, not really picking up anything though. We'll see what's going on over here. Oh, there is some loot here. Somebody made a fire. It's interesting. Hmm. But, you know, at its core, this is really... If you've been looking for a game where you can just explore Greece and, you know, Sparta and, and that kind of thing... This is really going to be the game for you. You can spend so much time just looking around, exploring stuff. So there's something a hundred and... hundred and... well, a hundred meters this direction. I'm going to go see what... it might be that thing on top of that rock over there. Uh, what? You want to fight me? You stand no chance. Sit down. Didn't come here to kill you, but you made me do it. All right, let's make our way up to this lookout here and see what's going on up here. Oh, there's actually a bandit leader up here. I don't want to be spotted here. She says, I don't want to be spotted here. Hmm. Wait, there's something... So there's the treasure. Where's the bandit leader? There's my boat, I think. Oh, the, oh, oh there's, a couple, there's a couple dudes. Hmm. Oh, there he is. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and recruit one of these guys for my boat, just so you can see that. Oh, there's a second one. The other thing I think I'll do is I will uh, I'll switch weapons again. Because I showed you the axe a couple of times. So let's go back to... Um, let's go back to these daggers. Show you some of that really quick combat. The other thing I'll try and show you is I have not done any stealth kills yet. So let me show you some stealth kills. Alright, I'm going to whistle this guy. Okay, that's good. There's someone there. Stealth kill right here. Watch this. Come here, little boss guy. Huh? Is someone trying to mess with me? What? Come here. This is getting very irritating. I mean, you're telling me. All right, I'm trying to knock him out here. Huh? Oh, that that actually messed up. All right, go to lock on mode here. Back up. Get ready for a parry. Got a minimal fighting area here. You gotta be a little bit careful. Power strikes. Dodge that guy. Bull rush. Let's go back into stealth mode. Because I know there's more guys. I still want to try and recruit one. Actually, maybe that guy up there we can recruit. All right, nice and easy here. Nice and easy. Man, this is like loot all over the place here. Okay, here's a recruit. We, we're basically just knocking him out. And then he fell. 
Did he just die? That is not what I wanted to have happen. Dang it, he actually felled it and he died. Dang it. That meant to be a non-lethal kill. Is there any more? There's a couple of eights down there. We can maybe go check them out. All right, let's go back up and get the treasure. They got a bunch of gold laying around too. What do we got here? Ooh, it's actually a blue. It's not an upgrade though. I know goat, right? They're just leaving money laying around. Yeah, I I've been having a better time with the heavier weapons than I have with these with these quick weapons. I really like the spear. It's got just such a nice reach on it. Uh, bird, go ahead and give me a, a scouting report here. There's a bunch of dudes down here. Bunch, a bunch of guys here in this little bay area. Restricted area. Thank you. Oh man, we could do it. We could get a drop on this guy. If I do this, oh, we got a guy. There's a guy coming up. We gotta be really careful. Okay, that was close. That was close. We didn't sound the alarm. There's another dude coming up. Gotta be careful. He'll see this body and he'll freak out. We gotta kill him quick. Hey, they're not getting up. Or ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. See, what we do is we're gonna take these bodies and we're gonna throw them down in here in this waterfall. Bye bye. In case there's any more that come up here, they won't see these bodies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dog, you hear and see nothing. Oh, you're in a cage, are you? So we actually don't have to worry about him. All right, those guys are patting away. Looks like we might have another one that's coming up. I'm going to see if I can recruit this one. Dang it. Well, he's gone. He went he went into the river. Having such bad luck with this. What about that dude that's way over there? Okay. Knock him out. Varnavas at my ship. He'll be expecting you. And there we go. We have us a new recruit. New lieutenant acquired. This guy is actually laying down for a nap. Don't mind me. I love how quick the assassinations are when done properly. Okay, now let's let the party begin. Man, I can't believe that guy didn't see me. 
All right, it's time to go full Spartan mode here. Let's do this. Spartan kick into the river. Boom. Who's next? All right, let's do this. That guy's like, I can swim. You do realize that, right? Goodbye. Let's do this. Oh, this is a brute. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Whoa, hello. All right, I wasn't ready for that. Full rush. He's swinging this big old mace. Thanks for the money. All right, King B, you're next. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch weapons one more time. Let's switch over to that sword. Boop, boop. Yeah, that's right. You come down here. You don't stand a well, you say that. Alright. Come on, do that again. He's rolling up the stairs like a real professional. Alright, did we actually kill everybody in this area? I think we did. The game does have a full day-night cycle. You can see the sun is actually moved behind the mountains now. So the sun will be setting here real soon. Again, the way that the lighting is done is done so well. Especially on sunrise and sunset when you, when you can see it through the trees and beautiful shadowing. Looks absolutely fantastic. Is that a whale? I think I just saw a whale pop up in the water there. I've had whales almost crash into my boat. Pretty cool stuff. It's like just boom. I just went to a tree. The verticality and the climbing system and all that is... It's so good. It's about the best that it's ever been in Assassin's Creed. I want to try and get over to this mountain here real quick and get into these trees. Trying to see if I can show you some of the lighting before uh, before the sun goes down. Might be too late. They got like a little watchtower over here, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's see, you, you can tell that's just oh, that's fantastic. It's definitely one of the better lighting systems I've, I've ever seen in a game. Well, who's attacking me? You son of a wolf. But that just looks great. But this is kind of what I'm talking about. It's like you put the sun between yourself and an object and you can see the light rays. Oh, it's just, it's so good. This guy. Wait, what? Clearly, I am disturbing them. I guess I better leave. I'll take all your soft leather wolves. Just looking out there in the distance. Climb down this rock here real quick. Erp. Sup, goats? 
So there's probably an area, an underwater area over there to explore. Uh, I was trying to see if I could find a jumping off point here. Don't want to smash myself into the rocks below. Here we go! Beautiful. I am Spartan. I can take it. Underwater gets pretty dark at night. Actually, swim over here, here real quick. It's another unknown location. Up ahead, 200 and some meters. Are we at high tide right now? Where's the moon? The night sky is pretty nice as well. There's actually a boat in the water over there. What's this lady doing? Hello, madam. So, I've been praising this game quite a bit. There really isn't... Well, there's a whale. Um, loot treasure. Wreckage of the bandit. I'll have to find that. But I was going to say, I, I've been praising this game pretty well. And there really isn't too much bad about this game that I can really say. But I will tell you a couple things. One, some people have been running into a lot of bugs. I personally haven't, but other people have. And then the other issue that I'll talk about is there's a there's a pretty big micro or uh, a pretty big uh, microtransaction uh, issue with this game. And the first thing I'll say about that is the microtransactions are completely optional. You don't need to spend a dime for for microtransactions. But I think it it just comes down to people are tired of these companies putting microtransactions in their single player games when they don't need to be there. So that that's really the big issue. So that's just something to keep a keep a note of. You know, these companies are continuing to to press their limits. They want to see what they can what they can get out of their customers when it comes to the microtransactions, they kind of know they can't do loot boxes anymore, so now they're testing, you know, other things. Can actually pull out a torch here. It's not really needed just yet, but... But really, those are the only two negatives that I can say about it. Overall, I've just, I've been really enjoying this game. I'm actually somebody who had Assassin's Creed Burnout... And I didn't play the last couple of games. I played Origins... But the last couple before that I didn't because I was just, I was done with this series. They did the same thing year after year after year and I got tired of it. This one, I am all in on this one. I just love every aspect of what they've been doing from the character design to the timeline to all the new little systems they've added into the game. It's been just fantastic. It's, it's fun to play a, a Spartan and play during that timeline. And yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. So... If you're looking for something different, something that's not a traditional Assassin's Creed game, definitely check this one out, guys. Definitely do. So, last thing we'll do before we wrap up the video is we're going to find this box. There's a, a crate around here somewhere. Actually, it's right there. Actually, what is... I might have a quest or something over there. I'll have to check it out. Actually, here's the, uh, the chest right here. Got some traveler boots. Get the uh, water on the screen effect. That's always nice. But you can see it's getting darker and darker as the sun. I think the sun has officially set now. Are we seeing any stars in the sky? Nope, not quite yet. 
It's actually a little campfire over here. Let's go check this out. Seems like this first look is a little bit longer than my normal ones. But it's a big game. There's a lot to look at. And I will tell you, there's a couple of systems that I have not shown you yet. But... Need a light? No, not really. We'll just use this campfire. But there's a, a system in the game where you can actually choose a side between, you know, the Spartans and, you know, another faction. There's a a balance system that you can work on. And I, I've even heard there's a couple of other systems that you don't even unlock until you're 15, 20, you know, uh, hours in the game, which is which is pretty cool. Oh, cool. She's actually doing the uh, the thing where she's holding her hands to the fire. It's little stuff like that that makes these games really great when they add in just those little details. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is sort of a, a first look at Assassin's Creed Odyssey. If you're interested in seeing more, I am streaming more on Twitch during my uh, regular streaming hours. We're going to be hitting it up pretty big this weekend. There's some bigger boats out there. Actually, there's the moon finally coming up. That's cool stuff. Ah, now we're starting to see some stars up there. But yep, absolutely fantastic game. This is uh, probably a solid 8 or 9 out of 10, I would say, at the moment. Once I actually beat it, we'll see if my opinion changes. But yep, just really been enjoying it so far. So that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Everybody keep playing, have fun, and we'll see you next time.